what is a right? For such a simple question, it can be really hard to answer. Usually what people will do whenever someone asks them what a right is, is that they'll use one of their synonyms. It's because it's, it can be a hard thing to explain. Believe it or not, what most people don't understand is that a right is actually a negative. A right is a boundary. A right is something that tells the government this is how far you can go and then no further. Most rights are given to us by God. They're a part of our humanity. For example, the right to life, freedom of speech, the freedom of assembly. Those are rights. Those are things that people take for granted every day. What happens, though, if the government doesn't respect those boundaries? After all, like the United States Constitution, the Bill of Rights, that's just that's words on a paper. That means nothing to someone who wants to ignore them. You know, in the 1900s, somewhere between 180 to almost 300 million people were killed by their own governments. That's not counting war. That's not counting World War II or Korea or Vietnam or all the other wars put in there. Those, that is the number, that is the estimate of the number of people actually slaughtered by their own governments outside of armed conflict. So what is it exactly that, that keeps the government in check? Well, quite frankly, it's is at least here in the United States, the government does not have a monopoly on violence. We have the Second Amendment. We have a well-armed populace. And the government knows that. And that's what people need to understand. That's what's so fundamental about this. And I've said before in one of my other videos, the Second Amendment has absolutely nothing to do with hunting. It has everything to do with preventing the government from having a monopoly on violence. You know, if you look around the world, look and see the, the atrocities that have happened in Soviet Russia, that happened in China under Mao Zedong. Look to see the oppression that happens on a daily basis. Uh, even like in the 90s, the Tiananmen Square massacre, for example, comes to mind. Those pro-democracy demonstrators, they were mowed down. They are exercising their freedom of speech but the government had a monopoly on violence. It is a fact. It is an absolute fact that people in power want to expand that power. It always happens. It ne there, there's never been a difference in that pattern throughout you know, world history. Rome started off as a republic. It became a dictatorship under the emperors. The civil rights that the average Roman citizen had, they lost because the state had a monopoly on violence. That's what's so fundamental to understand. is, is uh, The Second Amendment, we, we all have a right to self-defense. If a burglar breaks into your house or breaks into your store, you have the right to take action. The fact of the matter is, though, is that that's a byproduct of the true intent of the Second Amendment. It's the people in power. It is those entrenched in government. It's the political elites of the world that are the true danger. You could get the last 200 most prolific serial killers all over the world and turn them loose for a year. They would never be able to match that carnage that has been perpetrated by a single government. It's, that's what's so fundamental for people to understand. Gun control has absolutely nothing to do with controlling firearms. It has to do with controlling you. It has to do with controlling me. Gun control is the belief that government knows better than you do how to run your life, knows better than I do to run my life, and that we need to have a small elite force to watch over us because, frankly, we are too slow, we are too stupid to take care of ourselves. We cannot be trusted to defend ourselves.
I'll take it a step further. Others in power, they deny the fact that rights are a natural right that are given to us by God, given us to our, given us to us by our Creator, given they're a byproduct of our humanity, if nothing else. They believe that rights are granted by the government to be managed by the government. And be taken away by the government. Keep in mind, whatever the government gives you, they can always take away from you. And that's the hardest part about trying to have a logical conversation with some of these leftists. They don't grasp that fact. Anytime the state has a monopoly on violence, you'll see it time and time and time again. They will disregard the words that are on a piece of paper because there's absolutely nothing to push back against it. And that's what's so insidious about what's going on this election cycle. Hillary Clinton's already said that she will act to overturn the Heller decision. She says that she'll go out of her way to appoint justices to the Supreme Court who agree with her gun control philosophy, who believe that the right to self-defense is not an individual right granted to us by our creator. It is a collective right to be exercised by the state. That is what's so, that's what's so dangerous about it. We have to stand up. We have to push up back against her. We have to push back against the media narrative. It's time for us to take a stand, folks. It's time to stand up. It's time for us to realize what a right actually is. A right is a boundary on the government. It's not a boundary on you. We have the right to worship as we please. We have the right to say what we please. We have the right to property because we have the right to self-defense. The government in Washington, D.C. does not have a monopoly on violence. I submit to you that the only reason why we have a shadow of the freedoms that we still enjoy is because we have the Second Amendment and because we are an armed population. The day we lose that is the day we lose it all. Please share this video, like, subscribe, help me get the word out. We got we to gotta get folks educated. We got to teach them. Government does not bestow rights. Rights are a limitation on the government.